All right, chat. So, uh, this is my, uh, Apex Legends, um, uh, weapon list. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people may agree. A lot of people may disagree, but, um, I mean, this is just from my point of view. I've been playing this game since day one. I've seen the rise of some guns. I've seen the fall of some guns. Uh, a lot of changes, a lot of tweaks. Uh, and I'm going to go a little bit in depth as of to why these guns are in the order. And the, 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 well, the order doesn't really matter. I guess it's just the tier, right? Um, but here we go. Let's just, let's just dive right on into it. Now, first and foremost, when I, when I looked at this, I was like, this thing, bro, no questions asked. The R99 has to be S tier without a doubt. Uh, granted you do need like a extended mag, which is pretty vital. Optic is pretty preference. Some people are really good with iron sights. Uh, and then like a barrel is like a bonus, right? But overall, I mean, if you get a fully decked out um, R99, pfft, that thing is smoking, baby. That thing is absolutely smoking. Again, doesn't matter if you're on a controller. Doesn't matter if you're on a mouse and keyboard. That thing is smoking. Uh, <clears throat> it's probably, I mean, there's a reason why every single time you watch Apex Predators on Twitch, YouTube, whatever, they're going to be using it. There's a reason, okay? Because the time to kill on it, the recoil on it, the hip fire on it, um, it's just, it's S tier. There's no debate. Um, Kraber! My man, I just got done playing with a random duos. Uh, Kraber. I mean, I don't, I really don't think there's no debate on this one. Uh, granted, it, it's kind of a lot of, a lot of hit or miss. I mean, it's absolutely 50 caliber glass cannon. No, no debate. There's no debate. Uh, S tier means it's just like the best, the top of the line. That's what S tier means. Um, you know, you headshot someone for like 305. It's like one bullet just did 305 damage, you know, or whatever it is. Um, you can always open up a fight. You can turn a fight, um, you know, in the blink of an eye with the Kraber. That's why it's S tier. Uh, the wingman. Baby, 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 baby. The wingman. Again, there's a, there's a reason why you see all these talented and incredible uh, content creators, pro players. Again, controller, mouse, and keyboard does not matter. There's a reason why the wingman is on top. It's S tier. One, I think, it, I think it's a highly skilled gun. You do need precision with it. You do need accuracy. But the thing that makes the wingman so good is the consistency of the shots. When, I mean, you could literally shoot somebody two times, bro, and their entire shields are gone. What is it, like 47, 47? That's 94 out of 100 shield. I mean, that's just like, that's like opening a can before you pour the contents out and eat it. You know what I'm saying? It gets you started. It gets the things in motion. No debate, wingman's up there. Uh, the devotion. Oh my God. The devotion when it was on the ground, uh, with the turbocharger thing was a beast in the care package. Now where it's fully loaded. I mean, you could close your eyes and, and just decimate an entire team. Again, devotion, no debate. You literally could run around, blindfold yourself and just shoot this thing and you could absolutely destroy an entire squad. Like, the recoil isn't that hard. Uh, the hip fire is amazing. No debate. Just saying. Uh, okay, now, you guys know how much I love shotguns. And that's like kind of like a joke here on the channel. Um, with, like, every FPS game, with, like, every Battle Royale, shotguns have always been the biggest problem. It's because you can't really create that consistency when it comes to shotguns it's hard because like if there's if it's too consistent people are like oh man this is op this is broken and then they tweak it and then from that point it's never the same ever again um the reason why i put this in the s tier is because if you look at the picture it is the gold peacekeeper so this we're talking about like season five where they swapped the mastiff and the peacekeeper if you do remember it was vice versa Peacekeeper was on the ground, and the Mastiff was in the care package. They flipped that in Season 5. 
So this is a fully loaded. Okay, you got the digital threat. You got the choke on it. Uh, Chad, help me out. Is there anything else on the shotgun? I think that's it, right? A bolt and a bolt. Um, I mean, that's a fully locked and loaded. Like, that. that is the closest thing to consistency that you're going to get. Now, there's been a lot of times where... I'm shooting a shotgun and I'm hitting people for like 14s and 11s and you know the classic Eva you hit them for a 7 because they're really far um, Whenever you want to again the reason why I label this S tier is because If you ever watch competitive players again doesn't matter mouse and keyboard on a controller doesn't matter when they Know how to use this thing. I mean it does Damage chat like I'm talking a hundred ten hundred and twenty choked up you know what I mean? Absolutely barrel stuffing someone, blowing off their entire shields. Uh, I think it, that with the Peacekeeper, uh, I don't use it a whole lot really to like love it as much as some people do. But again, that's an error on me and not the weapon. So again, Kind of a no-brainer. I think all of those guns, any fellow Apex Predator players will probably say that they have the same S tier of weapons. Um, moving on into the, into the A tier. I love, 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 love. I want to turn this off too, by the way. The A tier, um, the 301. You guys know I'm an assault rifle player when it comes to any FPS game that I can get my hands on, whether if it's Call of Duty, whether if it's Halo, whether if it's uh, Gears of War, whether if it's Battlefield, whether if it's Counter-Strike, whether whatever it is, okay? I love my baby for the 301. Um, the reason I, why it's not S tier though is because the hip fire, the R99 has way better hip fire than the 301. Again, that's another question that people ask me all the time is, yo, Tanner, uh, R99 or 301? And I say, man, sadly, the R99 is superior in every single way. Uh, the 301 is not the greatest up close. Um, they kind of bugged out and, like, made the recoil more sporadic, long range, which was, like, weird as shit because that's, like, what assault rifles are used for. But I love the 301. The 301 is my baby, Okay. I, I feel so much more like satisfaction, like when you laser beam someone and you don't miss a single bullet. It just feels good with the 301. I don't really have that 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 passion, that love for when I do it with the R99. Kind of just one of those things where you just use it because it's meta, you know. Um, now the Mastiff. This one was kind of hard for me. Uh, me again, me personally, I really don't like the consistencies in shotguns and FPS games because again it's some it's very there's a fine line man and it's very hard to tweak and like as a player I guess I get that but I'm not like a game designer so I really don't know um when the Mastiff just came out okay when the Mastiff just came out and they like you know re re I don't even know exactly what they did with it but they they you know reduce uh change the spread of it they reduce the damage of it and I was, I was not hitting, dude. I was not hitting 13 damage, 13 damage, 13 damage. I was not chunking like I was with the Peacekeeper. So I felt like it was really inconsistent. And I wasn't a fan of it. But I don't know, Chad. I'm going to... Uh, hey, halfway through Season 5, and I'm using it now. Again, I think it was kind of... I think it was a uh, an error on me. Not really being fully educated on how to use the weapon. Um, but... Again, you watch some of these competitive players, these content creators, these guys are extremely talented. Um, and they're chunking people for like 100 plus every single time. Every single shot that they have. Uh, it's pretty insane. So that that kind of made me reevaluate like, yo, what am I doing wrong? Uh, so it's not really the weapon's fault. It's me not understanding how to use it properly. So the Mastiff, I actually, recently it's been kind of hidden. Maybe it's because I've been watching other people or I've really been like learning in the firing range or something, but the Mastiff's been hitting lately. So I had to, I had to put that up at the, uh, the A list. The classic wingman with no skull piercer. Again, Hey, that, that's the, that's the difference between the two images. I mean, I think if you have a pair of eyeballs, you can see that, uh, the reason why I put it a tier is because it helps to have a mag. It's only five shots. The consistency is there with the wingman, but Again, it's really beneficial if you have a, uh, say, like your favorite optic and a magazine. The Skull Piercer is a big, big bonus to it. 
Uh, so the wingman is just consistent, man. It's just, it's all about you. You're in the driver's seat. It's all about you and your precision. But if you hit your shots, they hit pretty hard, straight up. Uh, with the Prowler, now I'm going to be honest, the Prowler fully auto, I like it. I like it. It's got like a slower rate of fire to where it makes it feel like it's kind of an assault rifle to me. But again, it's just the consistency of it. I don't think there's really anybody can say that the gun's not consistent. With the... Select fire to, to, to flip it from burst mode to fully auto is a must. It, you know, it's kind of going to be one of those things where if you guys are running around with it, if you find a select fire, it's going to be really hard to find a prowler. When you find a prowler, it's going to be damn hard to find a select fire. That's just how it goes. That's just Apex Legends. That's just the RNG of it. It is what it is. Now, again, yo, there's a lot of people super talented on the mouse and keyboard and on the controller. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep slightly plug. If you guys watch Apex Legends, you know who these users are, okay? They use the Burst Prowler. They kill damn quick, just saying. Uh, the, the Prowler's up there. I, I've had some kills in my day where, you know, you three burst somebody and they're just out for the count. That's it. The shield's broken. You just you almost don't even, like, shoot half your clip and they're dead. They're, they're, they're dead. They, they can't do anything. The Prowler's up there. Um... Wouldn't necessarily say that it's S tier. It's hip fire is very good. I will say that. The Prowler does have some damn good hip fire. Very underrated weapon. Um, the EVA. The EVA. Now, I thought this gun was better than the Mastiff. I think the consistency of the EVA is way better uh, than the Mastiff consistency. But that's just me. I don't really run shotguns. Explains to me why I'm always second place, but it is what it is. Uh, you can shoot your Eva with a purple bolt. Well, I'm talking fast as shit. I'm talking fast. The damage output, if you hit your shots, center mass, in a controlled, not just bam, 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 just spamming them. If you know, like take your time and pace your shots, you can and hit all your pellets, dude. You can you can do some massive damage. With the uh, with the Eva, straight up. You're loving this right now? Let's go, baby. Hope other people love it too. I, I I'm a big fan of the EVA. It's growing on me in season five. Just saying. Uh, we got the Hammer Point P20. Now that's 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 critical to see that because the P20 and the Hammer, uh, excuse me, P20 Hammer Point is ranked a lot higher than the P20 Mozambique. Now I'm going to get into why that is. The reason why I have that is because of the ammo. One, you can put a magazine inside of your P20. Right, chat? So you get more shots. And the, the P20 hammer point, I'm going to be honest, chat. It might even be S tier. Straight up. It could have been maybe moved up to S tier. The dam It's like 35, 37 damage a shot with no armor. We're talking about flesh, okay? When you break somebody's shield, you crack them, you pull out that P20, bop, 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 bop. You shoot them three times, they're dead. Three times. The P20 hammer point, severely underrated. If you if you watch this video and then you stream snipe me and kill me with P20 hammer point, just know you're banned for life, okay? Just saying. You've been warned. Uh, The scout. We got to talk about the scout. This gun hits so hard. Now, especially with the back end of Season 5 split, we're on World's Edge. Uh, the, the Scout, bro, is just... If you got that Evo shield, you're trying to farm it up. You're playing Gibraltar. You know what I mean? You're trying to get that red Evo. You're farming from downrange. You're in competition, and you're you're scouting. You can do the two-time bruiser. You can do the three times. Whew, all it All it takes... Is going into the firing range and practicing with your uh, different ranges. You can see the bullet drop, the bullet like leading your bullet to. Um, the gun's just consistent. It's up there. I'm not gonna lie. It might have one of the worst iron sights in the game. But when you do find an optic for it, and probably one of the worst hip fires in the game. Um, but if you hit your shots. It's pretty consistent. The other player is going to feel it straight up. Now, the Havoc. 
at the first part of season five, the Havoc was a slaying machine. If this was at the first part of the season five split, I would have put this thing at S tier because this gun is, it was ridiculous. Like absolutely ridiculous. It was a laser beam and you could kill probably two or three people if you hit your shots in one magazine. Uh, I put it A tier because it does, they did make it a little bit harder to shoot with the recoil. It's only the first couple of initial shots though. But then after that, like it's, you know, once you get it going, um, it still hits just as hard. So it's still an uh, important weapon to master, to know how to use. The hip fire is pretty good on it. The magazine size, in my opinion, should be dialed down a little bit. Uh, the one bullet, like headshot damage, the headshot multiplier should be lowered a little bit, in my opinion. But the gun is, the gun's good. It's a good gun. So we put it in the, uh, we put it in the A tier. Now, the flatline. You guys just watched me win a game with the flatline. The flatline has consistent damage. It shoots heavy bullets. Okay. The iron sights, honestly, not that bad. Pretty good. Uh, the headshot damage for the flatline is pretty gross. Um, and did I talk about the hip fire already? The hip fire is really underrated. The flatline is consistent. Spitfire is greater than flatline. All right, yo, agent. Hey, we'll see you in 10 minutes, bro. Can we get a timeout on this man? Absolutely no shot, no chance. In my book, Flatline, 100% better. Just kidding, by the way. The triple take. The triple take with the choke. This, I'm going to tell you straight up, this is probably your most noob-friendly weapon. Because sniping is always about accuracy and precision and, you know, knowing the bullet drop. With the triple take, hence the name, you shoot three bullets instead of one. Okay? It is not that hard to miss your target. It's really not. You center your target in your crosshair and then you do mad damage. It's a very beginner, noob-friendly gun that's really strong. And if you can charge up the shot with the choke and you get a headshot. I mean, it's, it's crippling. You know what I'm saying? Like it does, it hurts. That's why I put it in the A tier. The hip fire really good on the triple take. Again, you're shooting three bullets instead of one, not that hard to miss, uh, off the rip. When you're landing in a spot and you get a triple take, you can just go to town and you can just slaughter everyone with no debate. Triple take is pretty good. L star, aka the lull star, okay, aka the laughing stock of a weapon. I mean that kindly. Uh, the projectile size of this thing is way too fucking big, way too big. Uh, when it first came out and it was on ground loot, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. I thought it was really bad, but the more and more after I used it and kind of understood how uh, it was supposed to function, the hip fire on it. It's pretty controlled, unless you're freaking out. The hip fire is really not that bad. Um, when you know how to handle the weapon and don't just hold it down, uh, like hold your trigger down, your fire button, whatever it is, whether if you're on a controller or mouse and key, if you can avoid the overheating mechanism and like have burst controlled shots, uh, it can break shields straight up. Um... And I've seen some pretty talented uh, content creators and pro players kind of just destroy with this thing. So after that, kind of put it in the B tier. Somewhat viable. Not too hard to use. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys disagree or agree. The alternator. Baby, oh baby, the alternator. This thing, honestly, I, mm, I don't know. Could have was thinking about bumping it up to the A tier, but... Um, the damage and like the magazine size, eh, it's not too hot. Uh, it is consistent though. The iron sight on the alternator is pretty good. The hip fire on the alternator is pretty good. We'll say that it's very underrated. Um, I like the animation when you reload your character, like throws the mag aggressively out to the side and then puts another one in. I like the alternator. I would have bumped it a lot higher. If any of you guys remember disruptor rounds way back when, 
we're season five on making this video. If you guys remember disruptor rounds, it might have been S tier. I would have put it up there at S tier. Um. So with no disruptor rounds, as you can see in the picture, there's no attachment. It's just kind of a base. You know, the alternator is viable, but there are better options. I think that's what I was kind of going for here. Uh, the longbow. The longbow. The long bow, the bow of the long, okay? The skull piercer. This thing, if you guys enjoy sniping, this is probably the gun to use uh, with the attachment. Whenever you headshot someone with this thing, it just feels good. It just feels satisfying. It feels rewarding. You feel like you're making a difference in the battle. You know, it just, it feels good. I think it's viable. Uh, again, season five, we're making this right now. The back end on uh, World's Edge um, of the split. So those long range gunfights, those long range poking with your like trying to farm up your Evo shield. This is the, hey, this is a respectable choice, a respectable weapon. Now again, we're bringing up the hammer points. We got the Mozambique compared to the P20. You missed this part. Rewind the video and go. Listen to what I said. But the Mozambique, you only get three shots, okay? There's not a magazine to where you can get more than three shots. So there's a little bit of trial and error there. There's a little bit of, you know, hit or miss. If you hit your shots, it's pretty good. That's why I have it in the B tier. Uh, you only have three shots. So if you miss one or two, it ain't looking good, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The damage on it is pretty consistent with the hammer point. Obviously, if you crack somebody's shields, it does more damage um, to, like, flesh, to their, their health. Uh, so do not be using hammer point to break shields. Use it after you break the shield. Just a heads up. Um, nobody tell Noko this. But I put the, the hemlock at B tier. The reason why I put this on B tier is... It's a consistent weapon, and there are pro players, and there are content creators that make this weapon look incredible. But, with how the game is played and how fast-paced it is, I don't really see, I don't really see it being S-tier or A-tier. Um, I have it in the B-tier because it is viable. The hipfire is it's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. The hit fire is pretty good. Um, if you practice with this weapon, the more and more that you use it, if you go into the firing range and um, practice with it, uh, you obviously can see how it's going to shoot. Um, with It's a burst rifle weapon, and you can make it single fire as well. So single fire, it can be very good for long range poking if you're trying to build up that Evo shield, World's Edge. Thank me later. Uh, but up close, man, the burst... I mean, it's got that burst damage. It's like you're healthy at one point, and then you get hit by one burst, and it's just like, where the fuck did my whole HP bar go? You know what I mean? Uh, it's a consistent weapon. It's a consistent weapon with just how aggressively people play this game. I just don't see it being like an S-tier weapon. Okay? Uh, the RE. Some of you guys may even be surprised that you're seeing this in the B-tier. Now, the hit fire on the RE is actually pretty good. Believe it or not, it's pretty good. If you have a magazine and a barrel on this thing, they're just a bonus. The iron sights, iron sights are not that bad. I think we all can agree. It's not that bad. Um, the hit fire, the rate of fire, pretty consistent. You can, you can get out a lot of damage. I mean, if you have an RE45 and you hit your shots... Somebody to like up close. I mean, you could do 100 plus damage. It's pretty consistent. Hit it, take it into the firing range. Test it out a little bit. Some of you guys may be surprised to seeing that, but low key, the RE45, kind of, it's a pretty good weapon to uh, to get off, off rip. Now, I wouldn't really have a late game, but early game is pretty good. Moving on. Triple take. Again, I want to, I put this in the B tier because. It is a consistent weapon. We talked about the hip fire. We talked about the consistency on the damage that it outputs. 
shoots three bullets instead of one. It's kind of fucking impossible to miss a shot unless you literally miss the uh, the pole wide left, wide right, whatever that football saying is. Um, the choke is going to make it better. Straight up. It's a consistent weapon. If you can get a choke, it kind of bumps it up one notch. But, uh, yeah. This is what it is. Moving on to the C tier. The charge rifle. Now, I will say... Eh, I, I think it's okay in the C tier. I was kind of thinking of a situation in my head to maybe bump it up one notch and go to the B tier. But again, I just keep thinking to myself how fast-paced this game is played at a high level and just like how fights are you know you watch all these people that are playing in uh online tournaments and like scrims and um you know these qualifiers and you know ranked it is still somewhat viable i will hey the c tier i mean that's like what i got in, in school you know what i mean i got straight c's it's viable it'll get you by but there are better options. That's kind of the, the whole meaning of putting it in the C tier. Very good long range. If you know the functionality of the weapon, I mean, it is hit scan. So if you, you know, hit your initial laser and then shoot your entire shot and it hits somebody, I mean, it's going to do some damage. It's viable. The Sentinel, very fun to use. I will say that. Very fun to use. There wasn't an image up here for the Sentinel with the charging, the charging up. Um, I, it, it wasn't up here. It wasn't up here. I would have placed the Sentinel, you know what I'm talking about, chat? Where you can use cells to charge it up to then get a disrupt around. That, that's pretty God tier as well. Um, cause when you hit those shots, it's like a hundred every time and you can just crack shields like crazy, but it's a fun weapon. They did, uh, what reduce. Re yeah. Reduce the, like putting in another bullet, chambering another bullet. Is it reduced chat or do I want to say increased increase would make it longer, right? They reduced it. So it's a lot faster. I think that's what I'm... They made it faster. That's what I'm trying to get, get at. Um, it's usable, but there are better options. The default longbow. I don't think there's really any uh, discussion here. It's usable, but there are better options. Just saying. Uh, the old Spitfire. Chat, the moment you've all been waiting for. You know... I express myself so much about this gun. I hate this gun. The reason why I hate this gun is because I imagine some guy literally taking a blindfold, putting a blindfold on his face, having racks and racks of bullets across his chest like he's Rambo, holding the gun at one hand, and then just shooting the shooting everything. Shooting the whole fucking place up from top to bottom. I know that, that I literally have nightmares of the sound. It's like when you get the gun going, it never stops. It never stops. And every single time you think someone's going to be out of ammo, believe me, they got 30 more bullets, okay? And, and they're about to let you have it. I put it as C tier. I could have trolled and maybe put it at D or F tier, but... If you hit your shots with it, if you practice the recoil control, the, the recoil is really not too crazy. The hip fire is actually not too crazy. It should be a whole lot worse. It should honestly have like the worst hip fire in the game because of how many bullets you get. That would be pretty balanced. But the hip fire is really not that bad. So if you get this gun early on, it's pretty lethal. But late game, I'm definitely not running it. Straight up, I'm not running it. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much... That's pretty much my honest opinion about it. Everybody who kills me with it, I, I hate them. And I always call them like a below average player. But the, that's because I am, uh, in spite of them using the weapon, uh, it just, it hurts my heart. Because I want them to actually use a gun that takes skill. 
you know moving on we got the d tier any objections any objections do i say any more the mozambique and the p20 off the rip i mean just they're just not good they're just not they're fucking everywhere on the map don't get me wrong no debate no questions asked on chat these things are everywhere and they are constantly flooding the loot pool and i have no idea why there are so many of them on the map but uh yeah they're not good if you're a new player to the game uh do not use these weapons unless you have the attachments for them just do not you are going to be holding yourself back drastically okay the mozambique and the p20 i mean your melee attack of you punching another player Okay, with no weapon does more damage than you shooting somebody with a p20 your fists your melee attacks do more damage than a bullet in a first person shooter game let that sink in i don't, I don't see any i don't see any questions i don't see any questions it ain't it it's not it fam it's not it um so that's it, man. That's the tier list. That's it. That's a wrap, chat. We're done. We did We did the uh, Apex Legends, all the characters in Apex Legends. Uh, I, that's in a separate video. I can put that like on the screen somewhere. I can put it in the description. It might even be a recommended video for you guys. Um, I just uploaded that today. Check that out if you enjoyed this weapon uh, tier video. Hey, thank you for the claps. I appreciate the claps. Uh, if you guys, again, are brand new, yo, follow the channel. Uh, I'm streaming Monday through Saturday on Twitch, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to be trying to post just all kinds of content. We got tons of Apex Ranked videos, uh, tons of just like personal videos on other FPS games. And we got Hyperscape. We got Halo coming back now in 2020, all kinds of stuff. So check out the other content on the channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, say if you agreed with some of the things that I had to say, yo, leave a comment down below, man. I'm interested to see how you guys uh, rate your weapons. Maybe you guys agree, maybe you don't agree, but I've been playing this game since day one, and I'm making this video at the back end of Season 5 on the World's Edge uh, part of the split. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, subscribe, like, and uh, like the video, and that's it. I'll see you in another video another time. All right? Peace.